Imagine storing an OpenAI key in your Flutter app. You didn't think much of it. You just wanted to use it to have an AI chat feature. This is Bob. Bob happened to find your app in the store and looked at the bundle. Well, well, well. Bob saw the OpenAI key. Bob thought this was amazing because now Bob can start using OpenAI for free. Don't let Bob do this. Let's take a look at how we should secure API keys. By default, you should never store API keys within your app. They should always be stored in an API. So what the hell does that mean? If you are using Firebase, in this case, Firebase Auth, you will need to create an API that your Flutter app can communicate with. The app sends a request to this API and includes the ID token obtained from Firebase Auth. The API then verifies the token to authenticate the user and either processes the request or blocks it based on the validity of the token. So how do you create an API? You can pick any language you want. Let's walk through the flow with Go. With Go, to create an API, you can do it all within a single file. Add the Firebase Go package, then initialize Firebase, ensuring to include the service account key to complete the initialization. Once you have that, you simply create a method to verify a token, which in this case will be the ID token you send up from your Flutter app coming from Firebase. This will be retrieved through the authorization header. We then extract it, verify it's a valid and active token, and then continue or block the request. Now you can create an endpoint such as chat and have the OpenAI key passed in through environment variables when deployed. But now, how do you actually deploy it? There are a lot of ways you can deploy your API with Go. You can use Render, Fly, Cloud Run, or just a VPS. We prefer hosting ourselves, but for simplicity, something like Render, Fly, or Cloud Run works great. The steps vary here. For Render, you can just connect a GitHub repository, and you should almost be done while a VPS might be a tiny bit more work. Now that you have it deployed, what about Bob? Well, Bob is pretty fucking sad right now because he looked at your app bundle again and he couldn't find the open AI key anymore, but he found our chat endpoint. He tried to use that, but he got wrecked by our awesome security measures. You now know how to secure your API keys, so it's time to make Bob even more sad by watching this next video.